I'm in my bag today. You try me and I'm on your ass today. I'm getting cash today. These niggas be capping like masquerades. I got a mask to play. My rebels gon' put on their mask today. Come up the faster way. We get to the money and blast away. So with your, you mentioned you started, um, you were using drugs. So what was your introduction to that? Like, how did, how were you introduced to? He also introduced me to drugs. He had told, he had told my mom that I introduced it to him. I was very naive. I didn't know anything about nothing but weed. <laughs> <laughs> weed and, and drinking. Yeah. That's all I knew. I didn't know anything about no. I heard about cocaine, but crap. I hadn't heard about that, you know. That's how naive I was until I caught him using it. So I asked him about it, you know. Every time we would have um, little get-togethers with friends over, I noticed a lot of people would go in the bathroom. And I'm left out there where I'm at. And everybody else had ventured off into the bathroom somewhere, so I goes one day and open up the bathroom door and they in there and they smoking and I'm like, what is that? Had a weirdest smell. I'm like, what is that? Everybody eyes buck when I open the door like, oh shit, <laughs> you know? So I said, well, can I have some? Why ain't nobody telling me about it? What's going on? You're so curious. my kid's father told me, no, I don't want you to do this. I'm like, well, you doing it, you know? What the heck? Everybody else doing it. You guys enjoying you guys get you guys self. So, you know, I tried it. He didn't like it, but I tried it anyways. And then ever since then, you know, I when when we have little get togethers, I would party with the rest of the crew. So it started off for you as just like a party favor. Just a party favor, right. And then what did it turn into something else or oh did it ever? You know, it started getting out of hand like, from just the weekends to like every day you know mm -hmm. and, yeah I was about to say I was there just just start spiraling out of control real fast now that I look back on it yeah um yeah so the it wasn't the abuse of the drugs which led to the CPS calling was the this you were selling your shit right you know so um what you said someone a family a close family member called um so you obviously found out later and how did that make you feel when you found out who and who called well I was devastated I was devastated um. I never knew that people could be in your life as family. And I felt, well, what I felt like, you really hated me to do that. You know, you couldn't talk to me like, hey, get your shit together. You know, you'd rather just call CPS. So I was real devastated behind that. For a while, it took me a while to get over that. So when they came, the cops came along with CPS and they took you. How long um, were you in jail? They took you to jail right away or? Yeah, I went to jail. It's like a Friday. Because I remember weekend because I had to stay in there um, the whole weekend until that Monday. And come to find out that I really wasn't supposed to be in there or something. There was some kind of technical difficulty about it. Because... Um, they didn't find any drugs, but they knew that I sold drugs, but they didn't. But they tried to tell me that it was neglect of my children or something like that. Because uh, they knew I sold drugs out the house. And that was called child child neglect. So, so did they take the kids right away and yeah. place them in the system? Okay. Yes, they did. And so what did that look like? And what did that feel like for you? Another devastating moment in my life. Um, it's like I went to jail, got out um, that Monday, came home to a boarded up house. The landlord boarded it up, I guess, immediately after I got arrested. 
Um, I had no kids. My kids were going to CPS. My kid's father locked up. And it was just me. Just me. Out there all alone. All alone. And I just didn't know what to do at that point. For myself or anything for that matter. So I started getting more and more high. More right, and I can imagine that it just was like a vicious cycle. Um, <clears throat> what um, did they allow you to go visit your children? Did they allow you to have like visitation? I had a couple of visitations, yeah. Um, with one, with a couple of them, I never could get to see them because the family they were with was out of town all the time. So they were in separate. Yeah, they homes. were in separate homes. Two was in one household and two was in another household. Okay. Yeah. We out here swarming, we in this bitch hella stress with the click rebels playing that night, shoot up shit to the morning. Niggas can hate any time of the day, but we still get that pain. They gon' rain till it's pouring, storming. Everywhere we go, they wanna.